All right. So we're supposed to be finding. Hold on, let me figure it out. Let's see here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Taqueria El Cimarron. It's on Morris Road in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm driving and I'm on the phone and well, not like like this, but like on the phone with the you know through the car. And I'm like, man, I cannot find this taco truck. There is no taco truck. So I turn in where it tells me and I'm like, there's no taco truck here. It's a bust. And then I see this place. Let me turn around so I can read it real quick. Hold on. Uh, Antolio's Pizza. It's like an old sign and it's got the doors slapped open and then at the bottom I see quesadillas, gorditas, tacos, and burritos and I'm like oh my gosh so I found a place it's no longer a truck so does it count I came a long ways all the way across Columbus to check this place out so let me run in I'm gonna order some tacos we'll review it we'll keep in mind that it's not a truck but it is what it is all right Alrighty, so inside and totally Antolino's and Antolino's pizza, two sauces. There's the taco El Ciceron, probably butchering it. Got the black bag special. We got two pastors. Hmm. Presentation is not great, but. We drove over here, it was on the list. Um, we've got two pastors, two asada. Uh, presentation's weak. That doesn't mean anything. It's very pastor, pastor, um, asada, asada. Well, gave us one lime for four tacos. The truck there was on Google there was like two different pictures of trucks or trailers um, and now there's no trucks it's inside of a pizza place so, so I'll say verde probably should have put more the salt on first it's pretty uh, generic Let's see what the red sauce is all about even though I'm not a big red sauce guy see the pepper flakes in it Woo. it's like salsa you might get in a restaurant eat chips should ask them for some chips no Mexican cokes first strike on this place but I mean he is running his business out of a bless you out of a uh, pizza joint now it doesn't have the trailer uh, it, one of the pictures I found on Google said it was the best tacos in Ohio I think if you're gonna have a uh, taco truck you shouldn't put that on there uh, the meat hmm not a lot of gristle I don't see a lot of gristle on it looks like decent meat it's just very you know, tortillas traditional corn double layered hmm asada hmm it's dry it's as dry as it looks um not bad I'd had a hard time like walking in to order something like this. This is this is job site taco right here. Like you know, you're not the guy that shows up on the roach coach. That's what I expect. I mean I like I've always said I, they're called people nickname them roach coaches. I'm not downplaying food trucks at all. Some of the best food I've ever had has been off a of food truck. 
been out for a week. Went and put a swimming pool in. Highly deter people from trying to do that themselves like I did. Before I sat down with the um, Crystal Light, a little heavy Mexican Cokes. Let's try the Pastor of the Sada. See, it's a little dry, a little bland. Uh, as far as local places I, I maybe this guy's you know he was running out of a truck i'd have a lot more respect but i mean i understand he had a truck and maybe maybe had to move in and maybe he's running his taco business under this guy the pizza places uh, uh you know, food services i and they they ran the credit card of, let, me, let me see they ran the credit card under the pizza place yeah so the credit card I, I ran my card from, and it, it's under there. So I'm, they may be running off of their, uh, you know, health code certificate or whatnot. All right, the asada. Let's get to it. It's got. It's not as dry. There's onions, some grilled onions in there. Uh, that is pineapple. Um. No napkins in the black bag. Hmm. Yeah, this 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 pastor is like it's similar to. Um, it's not bad. It's just not traditional pastor. It's, it's like what if you were to Google pastor and t maybe take one of those recipes from like um i don't know i'm trying to think of the the you know just google El pastor taco recipes and you know some some good living magazine version of it um it's their imitation the onion in it it's got a lot of chipotle it's it's got he's used a lot of chipotle which is strong I wouldn't even consider this pastor it's more of like a chipotle pork with some pineapple and onion in it which you know hmm. not bad but not what I was looking for as far as pastor um, I asked him what kind of tacos he said and he went chicken beef pork and I said okay do you have pastor and he said well that's pork um, there's different types of pork tacos. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not Hispanic. He's he. I think he was Hispanic. Whatever. Um, overall, kind of interested in seeing what the pizza is all about. But I don't review pizzas. They got a guy out there that does that. Maybe I can look him up on a what's that guy? El Prez. Dave Portney, I think that's his name. He does the pizza reviews. Uh, well, I'm gonna eat this asada. I mean, I paid eight bucks. I mean, for the price, you know, two bucks a taco, that, that ain't bad. You know, it's decent prices, but um, I think some of the other places I've charged up, I've had to pay up to like $13, $14 for four tacos and a Coke, which I mean, it's kind of a scam if you ask me, but I mean, price is right. Neighborhood. I don't know where Morris Road, northeast, far, far northeast, maybe uh, Columbus next to the Drive Time Auto. Anyhow, that's a review. We'll see you on the next one.